name's Emily, welcome to my channel. I make homeschooling vlog videos with my six-year-old daughter, Rosie. Um, I have uh, just spent the last hour or so decorating the living room ready for our autumn and Halloween things because we have a fair few decorations and I'm one of these people that um, likes to get the most out of them. So the lead up to Halloween now, we'll have two weeks leading up. I've put all our leaves hanging up. There is Steve, our spider, in the corner. Our autumnal leaves are hanging. You can get them off eBay. I just string them together and then um, hang them around the room. And then Home Bargains had all those spirally decorations that hang down. Uh, previous years made. Ghost is up there as well, if I can find it. Um, so, yes. Um, I'll turn you around now and show you other things that I've put out. They're not exactly Halloween -y activities yet, simply because I will wait wait until the week of Halloween to start doing more specific Halloween things. Um, I've kind of sat down and thought while well, I've had five minutes, right, what haven't we done that I think she should know by now? So we haven't done an awful lot on like um fractions very very small fractions um so if i asked her to share something with me does she know how to split it in half does she understand that a half, what a half is and probably up to thirds so i have this little um puzzle that i have dug out that i've explained on one side how she splits it and then on the other side i'm just asking her to draw the lines to copy to make sure she understands um whole half and third um when you home educate, you're not always necessarily sure if you're ahead of school or behind school. So this is just something I would like her to know. Plus, we're going to do some time work and then I will turn you around and I will show you a little fun motor activity I've put down for her. It is sort of Halloween-y, but with our decorations, we have our candles and we have our ghost lights and we have our skeleton. Um, that was our ghost, which was really fun to make when she was little. That's mine. I believe hers fell apart. You just draw a face on a paper cup and then put string hanging down to be the ghost's, um, whatever it is that hangs out on a ghost when you make a ghost like that. We also have, I was going through Rosie's old stuff and games you haven't played for a while. So these are all her bugs. So I've hidden her bugs amongst some pom-poms and spirals. And then she has these tweezers that she's going to pick the bugs up with and pick people out and stuff they're quite difficult to use um so yeah and i'll probably turn that into uh i'll probably do a sheet and see if she can put the correct insects in the correct place maybe and get her to spell them name them and whatnot so i'm going to do a sheet to go with that and i'll show and you when on I finish. this side we also have our black pumpkins as our decorations on this side we've started going for autumnal walks and collecting things as we go so they're turning brown but they were some beautiful yellow leaves that rosie brought home a pine cone so every time we find something on autumnal walk we're going to put it in our box um so yeah so these are all the ones that I could remember the names of, of the bugs we had in there. So um, we have a fair few flies, we have a couple of ants, we have a fair few spiders. We have a couple of ladybugs. So yeah, Rosie's just going to find them, place them in a pile, count them all up at the end and put a number next to them as well. As well as identifying her insects again. Also kind of spooky a little bit because um, not everyone likes insects. So Rosie might enjoy the slightly grossness of it. Um, yeah. We'll show you the rest of our activities. These are shapes. Week. Can you name the shape as you put them down? Rectangle star. I'd have to count how many sides there are for that one. It's an know. octagon because there's eight sides. Octagon. Perhaps. Which one's an octagon? The one you're just putting down because there's eight sides. What's that one? Triangle. Mm -hmm. Oval. Well done. Hexagon. One, two, three. So this one was visual discrimination to seeing the differences between them. This one's the beginning letter sound. Is this one where you put the M? So what does mummy begin with? These are too easy for her. These are from previous years. M. But sometimes it's nice and it's good for their confidence just to go over old ones. And this one, she should really just now, she should have the word, not the extra picture, because she can read. So she'd be able to do this with just the word, not the picture. Pumpkin. But she's got both, so I might redo this one and just put the word so she's got to read. But you can read all those. 
So Rosie has a pile of cards that tells her to add things to the witch's cauldron and then she has to make her spell. Five worms. There are only two. There are only three. There are only four. Three. One in her mouth. No, you're not supposed to eat that. One, two, three. You really think a witch wouldn't mind. They're all going to drop to the bottom. Stir it. Well, wait, wait until you get a stir card and then they're all going to drop to the bottom, okay? So what's your next? Your next card is no, add... No. I've got the other one! Yes, you have. Count them. You've got five worms in there. No, I've got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. <laughs> two eyeballs. So I've made these cards and she adds them. Wait, why are, there, why are there four eyeballs? Maybe you have to add more later. Maybe it's just two for now after the worms. So, what's the next card? Now you've got to stir it! So she's going to use her wand pen. She's going to stir. Round and round she goes. Maybe you want to chant something over the top. Oh, bubble, bubble, boy, the trouble. Make something to the bottom. Take my water away. And they... So I um, drew Rosie uh, some more beasts and a haunted house for her to do her song that she learned off Steve and Maggie with. And I've also hidden some ghosts around the room and she's going to find four shocked ones and two grumpy ones until I have time to make some more. So, um, yes, she will show you tomorrow what song goes with this. Fine. Rosie has discovered her haunted house and now she's complaining about those things in it. Go on, do the song and knock someone. Who are we going to knock first? Rosie, ghost. I don't know. The mummy. I gave him a treat. But he said he would the ball. I showed him my ball was empty. So what can I do? But he just floated. Say goodbye. I'm floated off to see you. Ooh, who's going to knock next? So now. Oh, not in order then. The vampire is going to wait. So Rosie's just turned all our Halloween lights on. No, no, wait, she wants not to... all of them. Well, the little ones. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters! There we go. I'll tell you. Nobody one. loves me. Everybody hates me. I guess, guess I'll go and eat worms. Long some slime ones. Short, fat, juicy ones. Itty, bitty, fuzzy ones. Worms. So she cut the, the heads off and then he took the guts out. Oh, how they wiggle and squirm. Of course. Long slim. So you've Long got to say that line again. Long slim slime ones. Short fat juicy ones. Itty bitty fuzzy wizzy worms. Wiggle goes the first one. Goosh goes the second one. She didn't want to eat these worms. Long slim slime ones. Short fat juicy ones. Itty bitty fuzzy wizzy worms. Down goes the first one, down goes the second one. Sure hate the taste of sure hate the taste of worms. Nobody hates me. Everybody long some sly ones. Short fat juicy ones. Easy busy fuzzy voice worms. Down goes the first one, down goes the second one. Sure hate the taste of worms. Long slim slimy ones. One short and half fat juicy ones. Itty bitty fuzzy fuzzy worms. Nobody hates me. Everybody loves me. Have I already done that one? No, everybody it's the other way round. It's the everybody likes me. Sh shouldn't have it's those worms. Long slim slime ones, short fat juicy ones, it's bitty fuzzy wizzy worms. Up comes the first one, up comes the second one. Oh, how they wiggle and squirm. Long slim slime ones, short fat juicy ones, it's bitty fuzzy wizzy worms. That was just learnt especially for Bampy. Now we. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it's getting really, really long, so I'm going to round it up there. These are just the starts of our Halloween activities. They're ones we already had um, from previous years. Look. Rosie wanted to go back over them. We're going to make some new ones. Rosie's going to help this year. So for now, it's Tata for me and Tata for the Rosie Look. Bear.